Hey guys, welcome to FL Studio Tips. My name is Max, and today a hidden gem FL Studio trick on making harmonies and melodies. FL Studio is such a goldmine of the ADAB. Look at this. So, if you watch our previous video on 10 mind blowing FL Studio tricks, you know that you can go and right click on the typing keyboard to piano keyboard button and, for example, choose any scale you want. And then, whatever you play on your typing keyboard stays in key. Heck, you can even play it like this. And now everybody asks if it's possible also on your MIDI keyboard. And of course it is, and it's super cool. And if something is super cool, there's 80% chance we'll be using Patcher. In this case, there's a preset VFX key mapper. Let's open it up, right click on the output dot and insert your favorite instrument automation clip. Now of course it's FL keys. And now open VFX key mapper and now here vertically, it says what key you'll be triggering on your MIDI keyboard. For example, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. And horizontally, it tells you what note to trigger. For example, if I add A on the C line, if I hit C, it will also hit A. And you can do it manually, of course, but fortunately we have amazing presets. And for example, in chords, you can choose minor or minor. It's super cool anyway. Can you do stuff like this with just one finger? Just one. Now, of course, there are many, many more presets here, for example, scales, but I told you to show you something you haven't seen yet. And as in FL Studio Tips, I want you to think out of the box. Let's actually go out of the box and we right click again on the output box, insert another VFX key mapper. And now here we can go to scales. And for example, my favorite will be, of course, Japanese inse insane scale. However, now you would like to play two notes at the time, right? First off, you need to make sure you're having your group set to null or three dots, and then you'll be able to trigger two notes. However, let's level up the VFX key mapper even more. We'll add another VFX key mapper and apply preset harmony octave down. Now we can double it up and insert another VFX key mapper and now we can choose octave up. And now of course sound selection is very important and as we are in patcher, we can actually layer the instrument. So apply your favorite one and you can simply duplicate it and of course link it to the VFX key mapper again. And for example, add reverb just on this channel. If you want to learn all about patcher, check our other video about that. And now we've got something like this. Heck, you can still even play it on your keyboard. That was such an amazing performance. Now we would like to record it. Or in our case, we would like to dump the score we just played. So we are left only with what we have played. Unfortunately, you have only this thing. And you cannot change individual notes so you can have more power over it. So unfortunately, that's not possible. Said Max from FL Studio Tips, never. Of course, if you just right click on your two FL Studio button, go to events and enable any MIDI port and now drag the VFX key mapper onto it. And now simply go to file, export, MIDI file, drag it over to any of your inserts, accept, and here you have it. And now instead of going from FL Studio to VFX key mapper, go right to our instruments. For example, strum them with Alt and S, practically do anything you want. Also, you can, for example, cut the notes from the bottom to make it a little bit less muddy.
quick update guys, we have new site fltips.com, everything will be now hosted there, we have new courses coming up, samples, midis, presets, ebooks, templates, our free stuff section is updated regularly with cool stuff from our videos such as this Patcher preset and many many more. If you want to cut your learning curve and get to the next level fast, definitely check it out. Or if you just want to support our channel, links are down in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.